Nigeria is ready to launch a full war against malaria as President Muhammadu Buhari takes fresh steps through the Nigeria and Malaria Council, which he inaugurates at the State House. Studies show that there are 40 countries and territories worldwide that have been declared malaria-free, but Nigeria still grapples with 27% of all cases of malaria and 32% of deaths globally, according to the World Health Organization. The president is determined to change this narrative. The successful implementation of the council agenda will result in improvement in the quality of life, health, and well-being of Nigerians by providing impetus for malaria elimination and by saving about 687 billion naira nationally, which is the estimated economic burden of malaria for 2022. The savings could increase to 2 trillion naira in 2030. We must work together to reduce the unnecessary deaths attributable to malaria and ultimately improve the well-being of citizens. Pushing the elimination agenda undoubtedly requires major funding, an aspect the health minister underpins as a recurrent challenge, citing the implementation of the National Malaria Strategic Plan of 2014 to 2020, which suffered a setback. The current 2021-2025 strategic plan already shows signs of a resource gap of about 50%. The NEMC is expected to advocate for malaria to remain high on national and state agendas with political commitment from leaders at all levels. Business mogul Aliko Dangote is nominated by the president to head the 16-member council as well as other eminent personalities. We all know a single tool is not enough to fight malaria. Therefore, we are calling on all stakeholders for investments in vector control approaches, diagnostics, antimalarials, and medicines to help end this fight against malaria. Yeah. Inaugurating the Nigeria and Malaria Council, already been established in other African countries, the president anticipates that the membership will advance his administration's commitment to the fight, such that would scale down significantly Nigeria's malaria burden. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.